Jason Roy provided the innings of the second day of the LV County Championship match between Surrey and Derbyshire at the Kier Oval. His aggressive 81 transforming a game which the home side was struggling in as Harvey Hussain continued to break records behind the stumps. Derbyshire began day two on 164 for five in reply to their hosts 181 all out and they lost Hussain to the fourth ball of the day, driving Jade Dern back without due care and attention. Wayne Madsen had resumed his innings on 48 and was soon at his 50 off his 66th ball and innings containing nine fours. It was the eighth time he got that far this season, his one problem being converting such starts into tons this year. He's made only one of those. Wayne White was then cleaned up by Tim Lindley in the next over for six. Before Dernback had David Wainwright held by Rory Burns at second slip to leave Derbyshire eight down and still three runs behind their opponents. They'd moved 28 runs ahead by the time that Madsen clipped a ball from Stuart Meeker too fine and was caught behind for 63. And when Ben Cotton's debut innings was ended on 15 as he edged the same bowler to Stephen Davis, Derbyshire were all out for 210 and that put them 29 runs to the good. Before they were knocked off, they had two Surrey batsmen out before lunch. Burns edged Cotton to Billy Godelman, while Vikram Solanke gave Hussain his eighth catch of the match, debutant Cotton producing a peach. Things calmed down a tad after the break with Davis and Zafar Ansari first taking their side back into the lead before building a steady partnership which lasted 14 overs and put on a valuable 62 runs on what has been a pitch thus far enjoyed by the bowlers in South London. Alex Hughes then did for Davis who on 22 had his off stump flattened while Ansari's two-hour knock was ended on 35 when he nicked off to the same bowler who'd switched ends. And when Gary Wilson was bowled by a quicker delivery from Wainwright, Surrey were on 114 for five, effectively 85 for five. So Aaron Haranath came in and got going with an early six off Wainwright, while Roy, who began his knock in a careful fashion, went after Mark Footit just before the tea break. That break coming with Surrey starting a recovery and reaching 167 for five for an advantage of 138. Roy heading off with 30 runs to his name off 42 balls. He really started to open up at the start of the evening session. This boundary taking him to 1,000 runs in the LV County Championship this year. Some effort from a man some consider to be a specialist of the shortest form of this game. He was soon at a 50 for the eighth time this year, three of the others having been turned into tons. Roy had needed 61 deliveries for this one, hitting his seventh four to get to his mark. His partnership with Haranath was beginning to turn this contest. Roy then took on the spinners. There can't be many batsmen on the circuit who hit the ball as hard as this man does. When he connects, you just know that the ball is going to race to the boundary rope and a succession of fours was now putting his side on top as he and Haranath took their partnership to 122, made in 32 overs, the latter scoring 42 of them. Fielding in close to the wicket with Roy in this form was a dangerous thing to do as Ben Slater found out at short leg. With the total on 236 and the lead at 207, Hussain grabbed his county equalling 10th catch, his first standing up to the stumps off Wainwright. And after Roy was out in the next over for an 86 ball 81, pulling foot it to Hughes on the boundary's edge, the 18 year old keeper on his debut had the catches in a match record all to himself. When he grabbed hold of the edge offered by Gareth Batty, Hussain had overtaken both Bob Taylor and Harry Elliott with his 11th dismissal. A fourth wicket had fallen for 26 runs when Lindley was bowled by Wainwright for a couple, meaning that this drop by Slater to give Dernback a life may yet be an important moment. Dernback was able to add 17 runs for the last wicket with Mika and in a low scoring game such as this one, those runs could be crucial. 
Footage grabbed his ninth wicket of the match and his 75th in Championship cricket this season by bowling Dernbach as Surrey were all out right at the end of the day for 279. So in what will surely be a three-day finish, Derbyshire have been set a target of 251 to win, which will be no easy task on this surface, one on which very few batsmen have felt at home throughout. We could have a close finish.